Hello there! This is John V, software evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching a Jscape MFT server tutorial. In today's video, we'll teach you how to set up AS2 encryption. Before we do that, let me first show you something. If you've been following our previous videos on AS2, namely the quick start guide to setting up an AS2 server or how to set up an automated AS2 file transfer, I'm sure you've tried sending AS2 messages between your test AS2 servers. And if you view the details of your messages, you'll notice that none of them are actually encrypted. How about we do something about that? If your AS2 connection already runs over HTTPS, your EDI messages should already be protected by the data in motion encryption that comes with SSL or TLS. But what if you want another layer of security or if you're somehow only using HTTP and want to encrypt your transmission? You need something like what we're going to set up in a short while. Let's start by discussing what you need to do on the receiving end of an AS2 connection. The destination AS2 server or receiver is the server that will be receiving the encrypted AS2 message. You need to configure this server so that it will be capable of decrypting the encrypted message. To do that, go to Settings, Web, and then the AS2 tab. Tick the Decryption Key checkbox and select an existing key from the drop-down list. In our example, we choose the server key that has been assigned the alias AS2 Server Key. This tells our server to use the private key of server key AS2 server key for decrypting incoming AS2 messages. To learn more about server keys and where to create them, read the blog post Roles of Server and Client Keys in Secure File Transfers. We've provided a link to that in the description. As soon as you're done, click the Apply button found at the lower right corner of that screen. With that, this server should now be capable of decrypting AS2 messages. However, it's important to note that it will only be capable of decrypting those AS2 messages that have been encrypted by copies of AS2 server keys corresponding public key. In other words, if you want this server to decrypt AS2 messages coming from a particular trading partner, that trading partner should have in its possession a copy of the said public key. Only those AS2 messages coming from trading partners that have encrypted using that particular public key can be decrypted by your AS2 receiver. To furnish trading partners with the needed public key, navigate to Keys and then Server Keys. Select the server key whose public key you want to export and then click the Export button. Choose Certificate from the drop-down list. This digital certificate will already contain the needed public key. Choose the X509 format and click the OK button. The certificate should then be downloaded onto your system. Save the certificate file and then hand it over to your trading partner. Your trading partner should then import that certificate with the corresponding public key into their AS2 server. If the sending AS2 server is a Jscape MFT server, Importing public key certificates for encrypting AS2 messages should be easy. Go to Keys and navigate to the Host Keys tab. Next, click the Import button. Give the key an alias. This is just an arbitrary name that you'll use to refer to this key in this particular Jscape MFT server installation. And then browse the folder that contains the public key certificate file. Select the file and then click the OK button to import. Your newly imported certificate should then be added to your list of host keys. The last part is to assign this certificate and public key to the trading partner object that represents the AS2 receiver. Just edit the trading partner object, tick the encryption key checkbox, and select the recently imported host key and public key certificate. You may also change the encryption algorithm if you want. Click OK to finalize. Let's now try that out. Let's try sending an AS2 message using Jscape MV server's manual sending feature.
And as you can see, the AS2 message is actually encrypted. That's it. That's all you need to do to enable AS2 encryption 